Right in this video, let's see if we can do the layout for the login as well as the register activities. So we'll start with the login activity. And for the login activity, we'll set right at the start, I'm going to set the background property to my color light, primary light that we defined in the colors XML. So now the background is this color. And uh, to just quickly get the lock picture that we're going to use in this application, you can just go to the website again and just download that lock picture there. So you're going to copy that picture that you've downloaded and then we're going to use it inside of our drawable folder. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that lock there and I'm going to keep it in the normal drawable folder and you'll see that we've got the lock picture there. Now I'm going to drag in that lock picture but uh, note now that remember that we've got the progress bar, we've got the text view, and then inside this linear layout is where we want to define our layout. So I'm going to drag in the image view into that linear layout. And it's going to ask me to choose that specific picture. I will choose the lock and then I can click on OK. Right, so now it's basically the whole screen and we're going to set the width to 180. And you can enter there. I'll just try that again. 180 and for the height also 180. Now to get it in the middle of the screen we're going to use the layout gravity and we're going to say center horizontal and that's now in the middle of the screen and to just move it down a bit I'm going to use the top margin let's say as 40 to just move it down a bit. Now for the next part we need to add remember this is the login screen now so we want to ask the user what's your email and what's your password. So I'm going to go to text and I'm going to use a email one and I'm going to drag it just underneath the lock and you can see it's still inside this linear layout if you look at your component tree. And then I'm going to also drag in a password edit text just underneath it. Right, so there's the two. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see there's the two. I'm going to click on both. And I'm going to set some margin on the left, let's say 20. On the right, let's say 20 again. And at the top, let's make it 20 also. Maybe for this one, let's make the top one 10. Okay, so there's the two edit text. For this, let's set the hint quickly. So for the hint, we'll say something like, please enter your email address. And for that one, we'll say, please enter your password and then we've got those to edit text now if if we click on both of them we can go to the gravity property and also set center horizontal which will center it horizontally now what we can do with the buttons it's up to you how you want to do the buttons uh, but I'm going to drag in another layout there a linear layout that will be horizontal and it will still be in my login form but it will be after these edit texts. So there's a new linear layout and it's easier to drag it into your component tree. And you can see currently it spans the whole screen. So you're going to set the height property there to wrap the content. Now I'm going to go into the buttons, drag in one and two buttons there. So now you see the two buttons next to each other. I'm going to click on both of those buttons and I'm going to set margins on the left 20 uh, no, no, let's not click on both of them. Click on the first button. Let's set the margin on the left to be 20. And for that button, the margin on the right to be 20. And then maybe the margins in the middle, which means for this button, it's on the right hand side. I'm going to have a margin of 10. Let's make it 5. And for this one, also on the left, a margin of 5. Right, so there's uh, the buttons. They're nicely aligned there. Let's click on this linear layout that contains both buttons. And we're going to set the margin at the top to be 20 as well, just to move it down a bit. Okay, so there's the two buttons. Uh, and then after the two buttons, we can also add a text view right at the bottom. I'm not sure if that one's going to work. Let's do it there. So the text view right at the bottom there. Make sure it's not inside of this linear layout, but inside of the main linear layout. Okay, so it's going to be there. And for this text view, we'll have it also go to the gravity property and center it horizontally. And then we can move it a bit from the top. So let's say the top, make it 10 there. And the text will be uh, forgot password with a question mark uh, reset here 
right? Something like that. So you'll have a, a nice uh, login screen with where the user can then click on reset here if he wants to reset the password. Now for this one, if we want to use this one as a button as well, the text view, we need to go and change the clickable property to on there. So make sure the clickable property is on, otherwise it will not work as a button. Now for these two buttons, we can design uh, our own button. So I'm going to go into the drawable folder and I'm going to say new drawable resource file and I'm going to call it buttons and then say OK. Now in this file, uh, you can see it's a selector. So we're going to change the selector there and we're going to set it as a shape. Now what I want the shape to be, so inside of the settings part there, I'm going to have the shape as a rectangle because normally buttons are rectangles and I'm going to add some corners to it. So I'm going to say the corners should have a radius of and let's work with 20 dp and that's basically all I want there and we can add a solid color there sorry solid solid color there and we can use the color property and let's use the color primary color and then just close it off so let's say this is our background for our buttons we'll have a corners so it will have a round type of button and it will have a solid color primary now if we go back to the login let's change that background on the buttons quickly so I'm gonna to go to text or you can just leave it at the button and go to the background property so there's the background and I'm gonna start typing button or buttons and there you can see add drawable buttons and the same for that one buttons at drawable buttons and now our button is a bit now it looks a bit better okay so now the text click on both buttons let's set the text style as bold and we can set the text color as a hash one two three four five six f's and now we have white text on the darker buttons now in order to to get rid of this bottom you can see that the bottom of the button is basically cut off there so let's just add some margin at the bottom of let's say 10 and for that one also a bottom margin of 10 and then that looks good okay so now we've got the buttons and maybe for that little whole linear layout that contains the two buttons let's just see if we don't have a bottom margin so that is fine for this one a margin at the top so mate let's make this one two to get it a bit closer and that should be fine now let's click on the first button for the text for this button we'll name this one let's call it login and we'll name the text on this one register right so basically now we have this layout all figured out if the user needs to enter his email address and password and then login or if he doesn't have an email address and a password he will click on register and if he forgot his password he can click there so let's make that one also let's say bold it's a bit easier to see and we can even make it blue if we wanted to so let's make that color uh, let's set the color for this and we make it a hash zero 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 and we'll take a b2 there so it will seem like maybe a link well it depends on what you want to do you can make that any color uh, let's make the style remove the style bold okay something like that okay so you can also make it Let's maybe make it the orange there. So let's use the color primary or the color primary dark, maybe. Okay, something like that. So forgot password, reset there, and then you can reset the password for the user. Okay, so this is the layout for your login activity. So let's just give it ID. So that one will be, I'm going to call it ET mail. For this one, I'm going to call it ET password and for that button I'm going to call it BTN login and for this button I'm going to call it BTN register then for this one which will act as a button I'm going to call it TV reset so that one will be to reset the password okay so that's basically then the layout for my login screen so let's do the layout quickly for the register activity. We're going to go into the text part and set the background there also as the primary light so that we have that light background. Uh, let's just zoom in a bit. 
And what we want to do here is to basically ask the user, you can ask him different questions. So I'm going to start off by asking his name. So I'm going to drag it in there. And uh, we can ask, remove the text totally, go to the hint property, and we can ask him, please enter your name to register. Uh, let's just try that again. Please enter your name. The escape key will take away the autocomplete. Okay, so let's drag in then after that, we will ask him what's your email address. So we'll drag in an email address after that, and then we will ask him what is your password, and we will even confirm. Please confirm your password. Right, so we'll have this one. This is just a normal email one, and the hint will be please enter your your email address for that one it will say please enter your password and this one is please re-enter your password all right something like this now we can select all of these edit texts and then we're going to say set the gravity to center horizontal and then everything is centered nicely so for the top margin we can set the top margin as 10 for all of these and then let's make the left 20 and the right also 20. okay so now it looks like this and maybe for the top part we can set the the top margin for the most top one we can set it to 30 to move everything a bit down Right, so there is basically all of the edit text that we're going to use. That one is plain text, email, password, and password. The last thing we're going to use on this layout will be the button. So we're going to drag in a button there. Let's set the left margin to 20, the right margin to 20, and the top margin to 30. Okay, so that's your button. Now let's set the background for that button as well. So there's the background property. We're going to set it to that buttons again there we go and we'll set the text color on it to be white so where's the text color there it is hash one two three four five six f's will give you the white and then you can also make it bold so there's the button the text on the button should be register and i think this is it enter your name enter your email address enter your password re-enter your password and then register. So let's go and give it names again. This one will be ET name. That one for the email address will be ET mail again. This one will be ET password. And this one will be ET re enter. Okay, and then your button will be BTN register. Right, so that is basically it for this video. So we have the login screen that will look like this. If the user clicks on login, we'll try and log him in. If he clicks on register, it will take him to the register screen. He'll enter his details, click on register. We'll take him back to the login screen where he'll enter his details again and try to log in. If he forgot his password, uh, we will just send a reset password when he clicks there. So this is basically it for this video where we've got the two XMLs defined.